I'm Linnea, owner of The Wedding Talk, and this is The Wedding Planning Bootcamp. Today we're talking about all the outfit needs you might have. Dress, suits, veils, anything like that. Let's start with the wedding dress. It's a good idea to start wedding dress shopping over a year in advance. Once you've made a decision, the companies need time to make and send you that dress and for you to have enough time for alterations, so do it months in advance. That is if you're getting a new one. There are loads of options for secondhand options and I definitely encourage it for the budget. It's up to you if you make a ton of appointments at a lot of dress places or just one and you know that you wanna pick it there, but you do have to book them in advance. It's a good idea to look for inspiration on wedding dresses before you actually go. Think about what you would love to wear, what style of dresses are interesting to you, and even just little details or elements of dress that you love, like sleeves or bedazzles. <laughs> there are so many wedding dresses and styles, so it's a really good idea to get an idea of what the heck you want before you go. Now, who is going with you? Make sure that whoever is going with you to try on the dress is supportive and there for wow. you. Most often, people bring mothers, sisters, cousins, bridesmaids, but you don't have to. You could go alone if you want to. You know yourself best, just make sure you're surrounding yourself with people that are gonna help you. No drama here. It's a good idea to talk about budget before you go as well. A wedding dress budget is entirely based up on you. You could buy a dress for 10 bucks, you could buy a dress for $50,000. Pick a general budget that you're trying to stick to and then tell your little wedding planning assistant person that's gonna be there to help you try on the dresses that that's what you're aiming for. Also understand if you're gonna have any kind of leeway or if that's a tight budget. Don't forget to check out secondhand shops and even online like Facebook market. Sometimes you can find people selling their dresses. I mean, they only wear it one time. So it's a good option if you can find them for a little bit cheaper. These are the things that you're going to bring with you when you go to a dress fitting. And just something to consider, trying on a dress can be very emotionally impactful. It is a very good idea to mentally prepare yourself before you go to the appointment. There are a lot of reasons why trying on a dress can really stress somebody out. That way you're relaxed and can really enjoy the day. Consider meditating, bringing somebody who's very supportive with you, you know, those kinds of things to help mentally prepare you for the day. Let's talk about accessories. There are tons of different kinds of veils. Do you even want one? Do you want a short one, a long one, a double tiered one, a lace one? This is usually something you pick after you find the dress you want. Same thing goes for necklaces, bracelets, earrings, hair decor, anything like that is usually a decision made after you know what dress you want. Now let's talk about the suits. Again, look at the inspiration. There are so many different kinds of suits out there, colors, styles. You also need to decide if you're going to rent or buy. Check out your local shops in the area, try things on, see if they have what you want, or look up different rental companies you can use. I personally use Generation Tux, Big fan. Again, with the budget, we love to talk about it in the wedding planning, but make sure you know what you're gonna spend. Just like those wedding dresses, make sure you call lots of different places, see what the quotes are, and book your appointments in advance. And again, who do you bring with you? Family, friends, groomsmen, whoever you're bringing, make sure that they're going to support you through that difficult kind of nerve wracking time. Whee! Let's talk about shoes. No matter what style, color, choice, heel size, whatever, the main tip that I'm gonna give you is to break <gasps> them in. There are lots of breaking them in hacks to do. Just make sure that you do that about a month before the wedding so that way you're comfortable and you're not worried about it. You don't wanna be struggling walking down the aisle. <laughs> For bridal shoes, I would stay away from those really bedazzled options. That way the dress doesn't catch on them and rip. I actually have a whole section on my Amazon storefront about different shoe options that will work best for a bride. You can also consider changing into a more comfortable shoe, have a cute little shoe for photos and then get more comfortable. If you're having a beach wedding, they have those little bracelet shoes. And you can even do things like embroider them or put a fun sticker on them. We're gonna move on to rings. Get your wedding band appointment scheduled together. And when you're closer to the wedding, it's a good idea to book that cleaning appointment. Or there's also a bunch of products that you can just clean yourself. You want it to be sparkly. The last thing to really think about is what do you want to carry it in during the wedding? Tons of different ring box options. Just make sure that you pick the one that is best for you. Next, undergarments. This is another thing to think about, uh, probably a month before. If you need shapewear, if you need a fancy kind of underwear, if you need a bra in your dress, what kind of underwear your suit will look nice with, or if you want some lingerie for the night of, get that squared away. Something else to think about is all the extra outfits you'll need throughout the year of wedding planning. Now this is so extra, but I mean, I think this way. People are going to be inviting you out to dinner, they're gonna be hosting batch parties, bridal showers, barbecue the night before, brunch the day after. Whatever events you plan to have, I would just write them with a little to-do list next to them for the outfits that you'll need. That way you know for sure you have things to wear and you're not stressed about it. For the bridal party, 
I made a previous video about that, so go check it out. But just to touch on it again, the most important thing is to give them advance notice on what they need. Not just for your dresses or suits, but also for jewelry or shoes, or what you want their hair to look like. And it's a great idea to consider how they would feel wearing what you're asking them to wear. Now, you don't have to bend over backwards to make sure everybody's happy, but it is a good idea to consider their feelings when you're picking things out. We want our bridesmaids and groomsmen looking fabulous also. And make sure that they're getting their alterations done and everything ordered at least three months in advance. If the groomsmen are getting their suits through like generation tux, they'll get them two weeks in advance. So that way they still have time to send it back if they're renting. Um, but another thing to really just pay attention to, if you're renting, make sure that you're getting it back to them on time. Some turnaround rates are very quick. So like the day after they gotta be sending them out. Generation Tux gives them like three days after. So it's not as panicky, but still make sure they get out on time. The last thing to discuss is the parents of the couple. It is usually a good idea to help them pick something out. Obviously it's up to the parents really, but I think it's a good idea to give them guidance and maybe suggestions on where they can find things. Even if you just stick with a color theme or you send them examples of what you're thinking. Almost always one of the moms is like, what should I wear? <laughs> so think about that ahead of time. So that way you kind of help and it doesn't come down to like last minute panicking. Remind them there's no showing up in white. Here are any last minute tips about the clothing and outfit needs that you might have for the wedding. But that's pretty much about it. I'd argue that this is one of the more simpler things to worry about, but it is still something you have to make those to-do lists for, right? Thanks for watching. Next week, we're gonna be talking about so much more. So come back on Wednesday and check out my socials if you need any more tips inspiration, questions, all the stuff. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Happy planning! Woo!